Sorry, just waiting for the slides. <coughs> okay, perfect. Okay, so <laughs> um, the other night uh, I went out for drinks with Tatiana, Gina, and Una, and sat there as a white guy in this conversation and realized that, oh my God, I need to rewrite my talk. And so that's what I did yesterday. Uh, I'll do my best to fit it into 10 minutes, but what I have to say hopefully is a little bit more relevant and useful for this audience, so bear with me. In 2006, I got this fortune, and it kind of burrowed into my consciousness. I didn't quite know what it meant, but in the last 15 years, I've kind of figured it out. So here I find myself, another white guy, on stage. And I thought I would use this opportunity to do something a little bit different, which is to talk to other white guys. Now, to be clear, what I'm going to say isn't specifically just for white guys. I think the things that I'm going to say should be applicable to everyone. But I wanted to take advantage of this opportunity because this is a kind of privilege that a lot of people don't have the opportunity to have. In fact, my intention with the idea of the technology of better humans is to really start to change and evolve the conversation that we're having about the relationship between technology and humans and how we may actually be a type of technology that is upgradable. John Culkin is the guy that actually said, we shape our tools and thereafter our tools shape us. We as humans are tool makers. We extend ourselves with our inventions. Many of us in this room have built or worked on powerful inventions and technologies that have shaped the course of humanity and changed history. For my own part, I'm the guy that came up with the idea for the hashtag, which frankly is a simple typographic hack, but that's been used to great effect. For example, in political revolutions, in civil rights movements, and to raise awareness for abuses that have gone on for a long time that have been underreported and underacknowledged. John Culkin said that we shape our tools and thereafter our tools shape us, but if I were to adapt this quote to this audience, I might suggest that we design our technology and thereafter our technology designs us. But this feels a little bit too passive. I think culture actually is very important, and so if I were to make this into a non-quote quote, I might suggest that we design our technology and thereafter our technology designs us, and our culture determines the design decisions that we make. If you go back to 2007 when I proposed the idea for the hashtag, I've had a long time to reflect on the impact that little idea has had. And though my intentions were good in 2007, it's impossible for me to also not recognize that those intentions don't mitigate some of the adverse consequences of social technology and social media. I've tried to think about how to affect systemic change again, now. And what I've come to the conclusion of, which is rather trite but true, culture turns out to be an emergent property of a group of people who share goals, and ideals and operate together towards some kind of ends. And so the strongest way that I found to change culture is to start by changing yourself. Because what I did with the hashtag is exactly that. Once I realized that this simple idea could possibly work, then the next thing that I had to do was to show people how and then socialize it. And as social media took off over the last 13 years, 14 years, and a younger generation is using platforms that all, or mostly all, support hashtags. The hashtag came along for the ride. And so the ideas that were embedded in that hashtag have now become part of culture. Now, I don't know if you know this, but there are over 200 million hashtags that are used per day, which equates to about 2,300 hashtags used per second. And that's only on Twitter. That doesn't include Instagram, YouTube, or any other social platform. So the culture that I was a part of in 2007 informed my values, which were about openness, transparency, participation. Those values then informed my design choices, my design decisions, which then shaped the products that I produced, like the hashtag. Over time, as the hashtag became broadly adopted, or social media products became broadly adopted, they started to change and affect users' behaviors, which then had the output of changing mass culture. So my goal today, with this concept of the technology of better humans, is to start to nudge the culture of tech in a direction that's more hum humane, more holistic, and more inclusive, just like a lot of the speakers that you've heard from in these last few days. But really, the technology of better humans is about upgrading the technology of myself, 
by looking inwards, getting curious, and changing myself. And then the idea is to socialize what I've done to inspire you to upgrade yourself too, especially the white guys in the room. And it starts by doing your own self-work. The very first way to do this is to start to learn how to identify your needs and feelings. For example, when you're getting anxious about something, you might actually be hungry. You might be tired. You need to take care of yourself. Once you've done that, you can express your feelings to other humans using words. Now, this is not something that I've always been good at, so I actually have a cheat sheet that is a screenshot that is favorited in my photos album on my iPhone so that when I forget how to communicate my feelings because I'm a white guy, I can refer to this list. Once you've started to realize that you have feelings and you can communicate them, it's important to get curious about yourself and then about other people and then about the world in general. And then once you've done that, I recommend dating yourself. Now, this is very simple. It simply means carving out time as you would another human that you might date and setting aside your notifications and your phone and really investing in that relationship that you have with yourself. This is like really important. Once you've done that, your next task is to learn how to listen deeply. And the first thing, again, as a white guy, is to work on quieting your inner fixer. I know that like for so many people, when they talk to me, this little gremlin creeps up and is trying to solve the problem before they even like have heard what exactly is being said to me. Like I want to be helpful, I want to be useful, it's not a bad thing, but it just means you're going to miss a lot of the context. The next step, once you've quieted that inner creature, is to then validate that you've actually heard what the other person is sharing with you. And that simply means repeating back what you heard and then ask, does this resonate? Did I hear you correctly? Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Then you can ask what, if any, feedback is desired. And that could look like support or strategy, both, maybe something different. But it's important to get that affirmative that says, yes, actually, I do want you to help me. Because if they say no, that's also OK. And then you can simply bear witness. Just listen and receive. And you don't have to do a goddamn thing. And that itself is actually doing something. And part of that is about being able and willing to step back and to hold space. You can do this in two different ways. You can do it defensively by holding a container, keep people on point and listening to whoever it is that's sharing. Or you can do it offensively. If someone who is marginalized is in a space and they haven't been able to contribute, you can step back and say, actually, we should hear from this person. I really value their opinion or I want a different perspective. You can also invite participation from people who haven't been participating. Now, I would suggest that beforehand you ask people how they like to participate, because not everyone is going to be able or willing to use their voice. You want to avoid putting people on the spot. So you can offer things that are nonverbal ways to participate. For example, there's an exercise called brain writing, where people write down their thoughts and then pass around strips of paper and then build on other people's ideas. So even if you're shy or you don't want to speak, or if English or whatever the dominant language is is not your primary language, you can still contribute. Now, this is a term that I've only come to really know recently, um, but emotional labor essentially is work that you're asking other people to, to do for you to overcome your own ignorance. Essentially, you're asking people who are already, are already marginalized to educate you about their struggles, about their trauma, about their lived experiences. And the reality is that we can do a lot of that work ourselves. There are so many books, so many podcasts, so many blog posts that people who want to get their stories out there have written, and it just, again, takes curiosity to find it. This is what Tatiana called yesterday proactive research. So again, this is doing your work, carrying your own water. Now, to bring this back to the hashtag, the hashtag was always meant from the, from the outset to be an enabler of other people's conversations. I proactively fought to give this idea away so that more people could participate in social media without having to get permission from anybody else. It was never about me. It was for the web and for the broader ecosystem. And so I have the same hope for this idea of the technology of better humans. Because really what I'm talking about is the opportunity for all of us to become better humans by upgrading the technology of ourselves. We are all designers. We all build and make technology. We know how to do this. So we think of ourselves as technology. If we turn all of our skills and abilities inwards, that to me is the best way for us to make a systemic cultural change outwards. So after all this time, after I found this fortune back in 2006, I feel like I'm finally ready 
and secure enough in myself to start using this remarkable power that I have. And I invite you to join me too. Thank you for indulging me. Thanks, Chris.